Okay, with the Tesla Cybertruck here, and we'll be installing a light bar with these two brackets. So these two brackets comes with this rubber support on the bottom here. You just screw that in, just like that. And then two 10 millimeter bolt. You pop this cover open, and there's two 10 millimeter bolts in there. You want to remove that. So just take a 10 millimeter bolt socket and then remove it. So once you remove the two 10 millimeter bolts in there, go ahead and place the bracket just like that. And it should sit just like that and then screw in the two 10 millimeter bolts. Here's the 10 millimeter uh, nut that you took out earlier. Go ahead and screw that in. So hand tighten first and then use a wrench to tighten it up. And then install the other side in the same manner and then you can install your light bar for the right side there are wires in here you only will be pulling out the red and the black wire and the uh, other wire do not need to connect to anything so red and the black so just red and black not the green one and then when you install the bracket you want to put the wire to the side so you can actually route it underneath this so around underneath so just like that the wires go under the bracket and over the other side and then go ahead and tighten up the 10 meter meter nuts and then start a light bar you have different position here high low forward back depending on how you want to position it. So lots of options there. You can see there are lots of LED lights, very bright. And you just tighten it with this bolt on both sides. You want to leave the bracket a little loose so you can wiggle around so it go in before you fully tighten this. And then you have these uh, extension. You want to tape this with electrical tape to an actual wire harness here. So right now I'm just temporarily using these electrical caps. So red to red and black to black. The third wire, leave it alone. And then plug it in and zip tie everything down and you're good to go. And go inside your Cybertruck outlet and mods. Tap on power feet. Super bright. This is how it looks like during daylight. So you can still see it visible. Again, very bright it is directional. So you can angle it up, down, but it also has some coverage on the side as well. But its projectile is directly towards the front. And we'll show that in pure darkness in a brief moment. So once we go into um, the dark, you can see it's out or bright and right now it's pointed towards the ground slightly and you can adjust this accordingly. Uh, usually you want this pointed straight forward so you can see obstacle further down the row. And there's still some street lights here. So even with the street lights, it's very visible. Here's with the high beam. We thought the high beam was pretty bright already, but that's high beam. And then we're gonna turn on the actual light bar. So you can see a huge difference there. You actually can see the stream of light flowing from the light bar to the actual obstacle. So if you're interested in this product, link in the description of this video. Make sure you use the promo code. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe.